Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we completed KG Story Mode and locked the first ending that we need to get. And now, we're gonna go lock the second ending. So, here we go. And I said in the last part, and I will say it here, when you complete KG Story Mode at least one time, you will unlock Akuni. And just like any other story mode, anytime you complete the story mode one time, you will unlock the second model, which I will be using this time around. So, there we go. And... Once again, the Battle of Issei. So, let's do it. Uh, when is this war going to start? I'm getting bored. Send your pain straight to Nobunaga. I'm Magoichi, and I vow to protect you from the Demon Lord. <laughs> no luck with women either. Skills and strong eyes, too. Hopefully, we'll meet in battle real soon. <laughs> Alright, so here we are again, the Battle of Issei, but first things first, the story. Through a familiar obligation, the free-spirited warrior Keiji Maeda had become a member of the Oda army that had recently entered into a bitter feud with the eco buddhist sect. After successive defeats at the Eco home base in Issei, Nobunaga himself marched out to face his enemy, vowing to obliterate the eco sect once and for all. As an officer in the Oda army, Keiji would take part in his battle as well. Alright. So, you already know it's a field battle. The objectives you already know. We have to wipe out all of the peasant troops or let them retreat. Either or. If Nobunaga falls, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. Plain and simple. The equipment, the weapon. We have the third tier weapon, the Crimson Pike. So, I'm going to keep that for now. The items, for the fact that this is a field battle, I'm going to swap out the lantern for the Matsukaze and the rest we're good with. Alright. The bodyguards you already know. The unit info for the Oda army you have Nobunaga Oda with Nagahide Niwa and Nobutoda uh Nobutada Oda. Keiji Maeda, which is me, Mitohide Ekechi, Ramaru Mori, Katsui Shibata, Kazumasa Takigawa, and Yoshitaka Kuki. For the Honganji army, you have Shoke, Magoichi Saika, Tomosada Hattori, and then four pilgrims, which uh, I'll talk about those in a little bit, if you don't already know. But anyways, let's do it. So for KG story mode, I said before, and I'll say it again, this one's linear. However, there is a unique mission in each of the four stages that you have to complete in order to unlock that fifth stage. If you fail to do that, then you'll get the quote-unquote bad ending after the fourth stage. So what we're going to do now is go through each and every stage once again, just like we do normally. However, this time around, we actually have to complete all four unique missions so anyways the first mission right here you gotta take out two of the four uh, fortresses I strongly recommend you going for the, the top one up there just for the fact they need to have Hideyoshi 
entice that fire attack just because once he does that, the unique mission will pop up where Magoichi will advise Shoke to surrender to Nobunaga. And then at that point, obviously, you have to make sure you stop Magoichi and Shoke from approaching Nobunaga. Otherwise, Nobunaga will kill Shoke right on the spot. And then, you know the rest. Anyways. So we took out one unit. Now we'll take out the second one. Incredible. All right. The second pilgrim is down. Fortress and set it ablaze. All others protect the task force. Shit. How the fuck did I get 11 on that? I mean, I'm not complaining by any means, but I'm just shocked that that actually happened. Anyways, now Hideyoshi will head over to the fire destination or the destination to, uh, trigger the fire attack but right now I'm gonna defeat the third pilgrim over there and make sure that Yoshitaka is perfectly fine before I head over to the fire attack well if he even heads over to the fire attack it's actually a lot more convenient for me to be over here but I'm gonna have to take out a few troops over there before I do anything else because Hideyoshi will get sidetracked a little bit so Anyways. Alright. That's the third one. You are truly a great warrior. Alright, I think I should be good for now. So we'll head over back to Hideyoshi. We'll head back over there and uh, make sure he triggers a fire attack because we need that to happen. It seems like he took out all the troops inside that one fortress. Even though they're, even though I took over the fortress, for some reason this gate will infinitely spawn troops. Actually, all of the quote-unquote strongholds that are inside the fortresses, or the strongholds that are in the fortress, if that makes any sense, will infinitely spawn out troops, which may or may not give you a difficult time trying to get Hideyoshi over to the fire attack destination. So, that's the part that would suck a little bit. But, you know me. I'll just improvise based on the current situation at hand. Anyways, so. Let's see here. There we go. Alright. Hideyoshi is over here now. Let me give myself a little head start because uh, I'm going to need it. So much for that. Shall all perish in 
flames. The Eco army must be completely eliminated. Such amazing skill. All right, so now Maguichi will advise Ashoke no to retreat any further. and surrender. Maybe it's time to ask Nobunaga for forgiveness. It can't be helped. It's settled then. I'll take you to him. And now here's the first mission that you need to complete. Defeat them both before he reaches Nobunaga. I have to stop them. Or they reach Nobunaga. And in order to get to that fifth stage, you have to do this. So, in my case, I have to do this. And we'll go for Shokei and Magoichi right now. That will help out a lot. Shoke is down. There, I got another one. It doesn't matter on the order in defeating the two. Just defeat them both before they reach Nobunaga. And before it able to form a fucking true Musu attack. Not too shabby. But don't forget about me. There, I got another one. And now we're good. So that's one mission down and three more to go. Like I said before, these missions will appear. There'll be one mission in each stage for you to complete. So now, here's the final mission which is kind of complicated. It's easier when the rebels are on your side, but for the fact that you have to actually have them retreat and they're still an enemy force, you might accidentally kill them with your horse. If you, especially if you have the Matsukaze. So we defeated Tomosara, but now the hard part begins. We have to make sure that we allow the peasants to retreat. I think one already got killed off. So, if I allow one more to die, then I'll fuck up the mission. I think you have to make sure you allow majority of the rebels to retreat. And there's only three. So if you fuck up on one, that's it. So just bear with me on this one. It may look like I'm not doing anything, but I am. You know, I mean, if I fuck up on this mission, I'll definitely get it down the road. Because I'm going to have to get them all in order to get the 100% completion for each and every character's stages. So... Make sure you don't run over the pilgrim because pilgrims are one of those uh, one of those named troops that you could actually one shot with a horse. So just be careful. And I said it before and I'll say it again: you don't have to really worry about Ranmaru. Ranmaru won't be doing much, so it'll be very easy to get the pilgrims to the stronghold itself. So, and there we go. That's two of the three. Phew. Looks like they got away safely. And I think that's it. Oh, right. There's still that last pilgrim down there that isn't required for the mission. 
So, let's take him out. And that's a win. Alright. So that's one stage down. And uh, four more to go. So let's see how long that took. That took us ten minutes and three seconds. Not that bad. I should really go be going for strongholds. But you know what? It's fine. I'll discard that. Nothing really special. Here's a bodyguard experience. Here's our experience. Points. Alright. So I'm hoping to get around 400 by the end of it. Even better. Alright, now let's see what I could get here. Range, I already did that. Uh, nah. I'll hit that for one. And I'll hit that for one. Alright. We'll save. And. There you have it. You have been watching my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go. And move on to the next stage. Which will be the Battle of Nagashino. Not the dance at Kyoto. Yeah I fucked up the last time. I'm not going to fuck it up this time. So anyways with that being said. Peace out.